Good morning, everybody. Rev here. Time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Good Rwandan again this morning. Hope you're, it's a Saturday morning in Oklahoma. It's a little chilly outside. It looks like a winter sky out there. Just in case you don't know, because I'm looking out the front window of my house while I'm sitting here with my coffee, talking to you, reading the word, spending some time with Jesus. I do that. Thank you for stopping by. So today is going to uh, a little bit of study in Proverbs again. Something that's come up a couple times is like, you know, really, sorry, I've got itch. The Lord is always looking at the condition of our hearts. And it says out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth speaks. But that's not always the, that's the abundance of Jesus in your heart that you allow your mouth to speak. So there's that, but then there's your flesh and what your flesh does out of your mouth. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. This is in uh, Proverbs 26. This is out of the New Living Translation today. And it said, uh, Proverbs 26, 24 says, People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery, their wrongdoings will be exposed in public. You keep going and it says, if you, uh, if you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. Uh, if you roll a boulder down on others, it will crush you instead. And then the last one of chapter 26 is uh, verse 28. A lying tongue hates its victims and flattering words cause ruin. When I was spending some time with this, the Lord this morning, it was basically just that you know, I'm reading these and it's like the, the condition of our heart. It's really, that's the area of manipulation that comes from your heart out of flesh and not out of Jesus. The area of manipulation because you manipulate people with your words because you know it's like, I've had issues with people and I know I have issues with people and I tell them, I was like, I have an issue with you. And you're honest and open with them. They don't want to hear it, but you, they know it's like, man, they got an issue with me. But if you have an issue with somebody and you tell this person over here, I have an issue with them. This is what it is. X, Y, Z. doesn't really matter. The issue is an issue. But when you go to that person, it's like, well, hi, how are you? And you put on your church face or you put on your business face and you're like, but everybody else knows you have an issue with them. That's the trickery of the heart that's basically being talked about. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. So if you're deceiving somebody because you won't be honest, and it even talks about it's lying tongues, hate its victim. I've done videos before on here when you talk about when you have the ability to do right and you choose not, you make a willful choice not to, it puts you in a very bad spot. That's what the Proverbs talking about here. The stones that you roll are going to crush you and not who you're intending them to crush. You know, when we approach the word of God, there's discernment that takes place. Some of it's self-reflection. Some of it's what you can see around you, your circumstances and how it applies. And sometimes it's both. Sometimes it's literally both. But the whole point is, is extreme honesty to people. They might not like, but it's love. A flattering, lying tongue is not love. And if you're more concerned about, oh, I didn't want to hurt their feelings, but we don't live our life on our feelings and our emotions. We live it on the word of God. And if you even look at Jesus when he told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. He told him that whatever is going on in you is of the, of the essence of Satan. And get it behind me and not in front of me. Because he loved his disciple. 
If you listen to the Lord long enough, he's going to tell you stuff and you're like, oh, in a sermon. Oh, in the word. It's like, Lord, that hurts. I don't like that. But it's for your own benefit. It's for your benefit of others, your friends, your families, your co-workers, your, especially your wife, your church body. All of them will benefit from the truth. I still go back to it. Proverbs 26, 24. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. It's like when you know when somebody has an issue with you, but when they come up and they're like, well, hi, how are you doing? And you know that that's not the truth. It's because they're deceiving you. And that the spirit of deception is not of the Lord. I've done it before too. It's like there's a difference between deceiving and still being kind and showing love despite the circumstances. There's a difference. You got a horse looking at me in the window right here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you. <laughs> that's my horse. That's that's Golden Nugget. That's my horse, Golden Nugget. He loves me because I give him treats. <laughs> I love you guys. And I hope you don't get offended at the word of God, because you can't get offended at me because it's not me. This is the Lord's opinion and not opinion. It's his word. It's my context in which I saw it today, but the Lord is good all the time. Some people say that that's not true, but I think he is. The Lord's good all the time and his grace is always and his goodness is always towards me, even though it may come out as discipline, his grace and mercy are always towards me because he loves me. And because he loves me, because Jesus loves me, he loves you. And because he loves me, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. So go take on a great day, a great day, thinking that out of the abundance of my heart, my mouth will speak the truth towards individuals. If I have a problem with them, I'm going to learn to resolve the problem. We may have an issue on the table, but our relationship's not on the table. And I will learn to deal with the issue at hand in a proper manner with truth of my mouth and not flattery. Because I don't want to have a lying tongue that in the last verse here, 20, Proverbs 26, 28, a lying tongue hates its victim and flattering words cause causes ruin. I don't want ruin in your life. I don't want ruin in my life. I want blessing in your life. I want blessing in my life. Take on the day knowing Jesus loves you, knowing that I love you, and that there's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.